In this tutorial, I'll be going over the run screen. By clicking the estimate time, we'll take in consideration any feeds or rapids or tool changes and give you an estimated time of how long that part will take to cut out. At any point, you can stop the simulation or click on the stop cancel emergency bailout. Simulate will actually simulate the part being run in real time, but not have the machine online. Any kind of macros will pop up in display boxes. You can stop the simulation at any point by clicking the Stop Simulation. Trace Outline will trace the parameter of the part and choosing your speed. It'll happen in a rectangular or square fashion. And you can stop, trace, cancel at any point. Nudge will actually nudge your part a specific diameter. So if we want to nudge this over a quarter of an inch, it'll nudge it over for you. Quick overview will give you an overview of all of your settings, the most important ones. By clicking on the program run, we'll take you to the program run screen. You can also alternatively get to the program run screen here. Our X, Y, and Z distance to go, our tool number, height, and diameter, Amperage and three user DROs are located at the top right. We have our soft limits LED, online, offline LED, CV mode LED, spindle override LED, feed override LED, machine running and process of running LED, manual mode for smooth stepper LED, a user LED, dwell LED, and a tool change LED. Our spindle parameters are located here. Our current spindle speed, spindle override, and percentage of override, and our pulley number. We also represent the true spindle speed as a gauge with its max pulley RPMs. We also have our feed rate, feed override, feed percentage, and our gauge representing the units per minute and our max motor tuning. Spindle forward, and spindle reverse, increase or decrease the spindle speed, flood and mist, our run button, rewind, increase or decrease our feed, stop, and back to main menu. By running apart, we'll have these options of popping up these M code, displaying our M code in particular English format. We can choose to rewind, resume that M code, pause, or feed hold and stop. We also have a tool changer pop up. It'll pop up telling you which tool is going to be changed into the height and diameter and in our M code explaining it in English terms. Our spindle button turns to a stop spindle and our flood turns into a blue representing that the flood is on our resume and run G code turns into a feed hold. LED lights will represent the current velocity of that particular motor, and our units per minute gauge represents the current units per minutes to the max. Our G code line and our estimated time is located below the G code. Our tool path represents the current position of the machine.